Now, it is inevitable in life that we, as human beings, are going to experience good days and bad days. We'll have those days when we're bustling with energy and inspiration and wanting to tackle the projects that we have set for us. We might be writing the books or screenplays that we've been working on or finishing some odd project that we've started. But then we are very likely going to experience those other days where we can't fathom the idea of talking to another individual or we can't even type a single word for the project that we're working on or I don't even feel like bathing or eating and just getting out of bed is uh, just a monotonous display of drudgery and we don't feel like participating in the uh, the confines of life. These are common things that we're going to experience throughout life and it can be frustrating because we have been pitched these ideas societally that happiness and joy and laughter are supposed to be in abundance and we're supposed to be inspirational creatures 24 7 but that is why even don miguel rua's book the four agreements the fourth agreement is always do your best while recognizing that your best is going to shift moment to moment because we may fall prey to the melancholy of life it may shift with the seasons, be seasonal depression, or maybe our diet or our lack of exercise, or it could just be we're not in the mood for whatever life is throwing at us. And I know I experience it from time to time, despite all the philosophy, things I read, or the stoicism I practice, sometimes I just don't feel like prattling on. A lot of the times I still do, you know, you continue to breathe and exist because that's what you do. You continue to exist. And not just because you're trying to outlive your enemies, which is also a good reason to, you know, press on because he wants to let them have the best of you. <laughs> but that's the funny thing about life. You know, it can't always be, you know, the highs. And it can't always just be the lows. Eventually, you're going to have the middle grounds, the ups and downs, the waves of life. And to expect something else, I believe, is what has created a society of very disappointed individuals who lack security in themselves because they think there's a certain, there's a certain bar that they're supposed to live up to and constantly striving for this level of excellence that can never truly be attained because they're doing it more often than not for other people. But then it's just a constant cycle. It creates madness. It creates individuals who feel unsatisfied in life and feel like they don't know which direction to go, but it is perfectly okay because I personally think almost everyone experiences it. Uncertainty, doubt, this, uh, these layers of just not knowing where to go or what to do next. But that's part of the fun of life. Not knowing. And then veering down a different path and seeing and experimenting with different ways to overcome whichever obstacles there are. Because there are millions of ways that we probably haven't even thought of. Me right now, I'm currently in a slump. But I imagine I'll bounce back because that's part of the game. So if you're struggling out there, know that you're probably not the only one. And I wish you the best of luck in overcoming whatever, if it, whatever it is that you may be dealing with. Because this life can be uh, ruthless, especially when it comes to our ego and our super ego and our mind. It doesn't treat us the way that we want to be treated, so we can retrain it. <laughs> Just some thoughts for tonight. Thanks for tuning in if you made it this far. Toodles.